In today's video, we're going to test out a brand new mousetrap design invented by a YouTube viewer. It has two powerful springs connected to jagged metal jaws. I'll show you step by step how to build this trap and then we'll test it out in the barn on wild mice. And for question and answer time, I'll explain why I'm no longer posting the action footage on my website. So stay tuned for another great episode of Mousetrap Monday. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to build a brand new mousetrap invented by a YouTube viewer named George from Northern California. He sent me an email with four pictures of his brand new mousetrap design. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to build one and try it out. It's going to take some effort, but this should be a fun trap to build. For materials, we have a 2x4 to make the body of the trap. For the trigger, we have a square metal bar. To power the trap, we have this springy fencing wire. On the original, George said he used the spokes of a bicycle wheel. And for the jaws, we have a metal bar. This is aluminum. We just need to cut in the teeth. Now I was thinking of a name for this trap, and originally I thought the jaws of death. But that will get me flagged on YouTube for sure. So I'm going to call it the jaws of life. Let's go to the shop and start building. What a fun project. I had to custom build each piece. Probably the most difficult was making the trigger system sensitive enough. I'll zoom in and show you how it works. There's a hook on this side and on this side there's a latch. When you pull the springs together, they hold the jaws open, but the slightest touch will make the jaws closed. Now back here we have the trigger. It fits right on top. We'll go ahead and set it again. That way when the mouse pulls the bait down below, the jaws come slamming shut. What a completely different and crazy kind of mouse trap. I'm sure the mice can't resist the bait inside the jaws. They'll come along like Squeaky or Cat Toy, stick their head right there, and bam! There's no getting out of the jaws of life. I'm gonna go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if our trap will catch wild mice. But if I show a mouse getting caught in jagged metal jaws, I'll get in big trouble with YouTube. So to do that, I built a base for the trap. It fits right there. And to cover it up, I have a cardboard toilet paper roll. We'll slide it in front. 
We're out here in the barn and on the trigger, I attached two almonds. They can't resist those. They'll come down the tube, pull that, set off the trigger and get caught. Well, hopefully we're gonna set up the motion cameras and see if our trap works. When I went to go check our trap in the morning, I noticed the jaws were closed. It worked perfectly. A mouse smelled the bait, went inside, hit the trigger, and got caught. Now I don't want this mouse to go to waste, so we're going to feed it to a wild animal. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, it didn't take long for a skunk to find our mouse on the porch. That's actually a different skunk than the one I featured in a video a few weeks ago. That other skunk was causing all kinds of problems. It tore into our garbage, made a huge mess, got a chocolate Nutella jar stuck on its head, then went under our house and banged around. That thing made so much noise it kept us up for a few nights and I had to trap it and relocate it far away. Now the skunk in this video, I don't actually consider a problem. It doesn't go in my garbage or live under my house. The other night I came around the corner and met it face to face and it didn't even try to spray me. Just calmly turned around and walked away. I enjoy living close to wild animals. Near my house we have bobcat, coyote, fox, raccoon, possum, and skunks. And I really enjoy seeing what comes along and eats the mice and rats that we catch in the traps. And these kinds of traps are some of my favorite. The ones that YouTube viewers come up with brand new designs. It's a pretty crazy design and it was a fun build. In my last video, I recreated a mouse-shaped trap with harpoon eyes from 1869. And that video is doing better than my last 20 videos, so I might be doing more builds. But I want to address the number one question and comment I received on that video. And that is, people seem pretty upset I didn't show the mouse trap in action. I didn't show the harpoons killing the mouse, and I didn't post the extra footage on my website. So keep in mind, just based on the nature of my content, I fully expect every video I post on YouTube to be automatically flagged. And I have to request a manual review. When a person at YouTube is reviewing my videos, I can't have anything in there borderline or questionable, or I'll fail the review, and that really affects my channel. So people want to know, why don't I just post the footage that I can't show on YouTube on my website? I've been doing that for the past couple of years, but I've failed in so many different ways. The first time I did it, I made a second YouTube channel. It was completely hidden and private. It was age restricted so kids couldn't see it. Advertisers would never see it. And that worked quite well. It got several million views. And every view came only through my website. It was completely hidden. But I have activists that don't like my channel. They reported me to YouTube and very quickly I started receiving strikes. So that got shut down pretty quick. Then I started posting on Vimeo. Vimeo is a different website where you actually have to pay money to put videos on there. I did that for a full year and out of the blue, out of nowhere, Vimeo sent me this message. So when trying to show the footage of the mouse traps in action, I was terminated from a second channel on YouTube and Vimeo. So I was looking for another option. Now I asked around and I heard really good things about a website called Wistia. I can upload videos to Wistia, embed it right in my website and it plays perfectly. Very, very high quality, but very expensive but people were asking to see the footage, so I bought a one-year subscription, $4,000 almost. But I was so excited to finally have a solution that would work, even though it cost a ton of money. But the first video I posted on Wistia and put on my website, I found a huge problem, made it completely unworkable. You're limited to a certain amount of bandwidth. 
And if you go over that, you have to pay extra. And I didn't realize they're not just talking about how many videos you post on their website, they're talking about bandwidth views. So if people go to my website, then watch the video, that uses up the bandwidth limit. And I reached that in just a few hours for the whole month. So I spent all the money for the Wistia package and it's completely unusable. So that takes me to the fourth video hosting option that I'm currently using on my website, BitChute. A lot of people like BitChute and I found it doesn't have the same censorship issues. But then recently there's two other things that happened that really scare me about posting the mousetrap action footage. Now my first concern is a recent federal law that passed that makes it a felony to show videos of small animals getting crushed. There is a provision in the law that excludes trapping and pest control. So this new federal law is really intended at going after sick people who are posting videos doing thrill kills, animal abuse, and animal torture. I love animals and I hate animal abusers. That's why I'm glad they passed this law, to give them the maximum penalty. But many people have a hard time distinguishing between pest control and animal abuse. Rodents can cause so much damage and they can be really dangerous, so they need to be controlled. And I try to show the best way of catching them, the most efficient traps. I don't want to use traps that cause suffering, slow death. In the last year, I've noticed a huge wave of channels from Asia that are really doing animal abuse. They're catching captive rats and throwing them on electric wires or in glue traps just to suffer. So I want to distinguish myself from those horrible channels and I'm really going to limit what I show. I don't want the focus to be on violence, but instead on the traps, not the animals being killed. And recently I found another huge problem. Those same channels over in Asia that are doing all the animal abuse are coming to my website and stealing the action shots of my videos. They're re-uploading them to different social media. So based on the fact that I've been terminated from multiple video hosting services and it's cost me thousands of dollars, there's new laws against animal abuse. I don't want to have anything to do with that, be accused of that. There's horrible channels over in Asia that are focusing on animal abuse and they're stealing my videos. I'm just going to be very careful with what I show. Many people said they're going to unsubscribe because I'm not showing the action footage, but there's just too many reasons not to show it. And I really, really appreciate the viewers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right here to make up for all the people that unsubscribed. And if you want to see the best videos on how to do pest control to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.